How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about some free motion capture resource that has been out for a while. I haven't talked about it because of a reason that I would explain, explain later. This is a totally free option. Now let's get started. So what I want to talk about is uh, this is from Neutern, the company that makes the motion capture suit that I own. By the way, I'm not sponsored. And this is totally free for you guys to use. So what you have here is a lot of motion capture data that you can use with Unreal Engine without any restrictions. So it's basically like Mixamo. The difference between this and Mixamo is Mixamo animations are more geared towards games. And these are these are motion capture performances. So these are a little bit more realistic. They do have a little bit more weight. And this is the only place where I've seen this. It also has sign language. So if you want to have your avatar with sign language, this is amazing. I've never seen this in any other places. Let me know in the comment section below if you've seen this somewhere else, because I haven't. And, and you've got some good things here. You also have daily life, you know, work, movement. You also have uh, medieval and fantasy. Okay, so you can see, you know, running from fire, I, I don't know. But you can see the difference between some of these uh, mocap actions. You even have some spell casting here is the fact that these are made by real actors. The only caveat of these animations is, and I don't know if Neuton has something about this, but I have not seen animations that are loopable. Usually it's because loopable animations are animations that have been retouched. It's pretty hard to do a loopable animation when you're doing motion capture unless you're something like on a treadmill and even then you have to retouch it so these animations are raw this is raw data um, that they capture on on their suits now to the part and the reason why i haven't discussed this before even though this has been out for a while is if you click on them uh, you see that you have two options you can download the fbx which if you want to use that you can but there's also another download here, and it's the MBX, the one that we're going to talk about today. The FBS, it, it, it's good. You can get it into Unreal. The reason why I don't like to use this solution is because you have to do some retargeting because uh, this isn't the mannequin skeleton, and it takes a little bit to get things retargeted. So the way that I'm going to show you today, you will be using the MBX, which is the file that goes into the Neutum software, and then you're going to get it into Unreal. That way you don't have to do any retargeting whatsoever and by the way uh, there is a free version of their software that we're going to use today all right so let's look at the things that you're going to need for this to run first of all you're going to need their software because like i said we're going to be using their software files not the fbx so you're going to need the access studio Lite. you see here that says demo this is completely free for you to download so make sure you download this and install it the installation is straightforward it's just an exe that you have to just go through it, select where you want to install, just like any other EXE. The other thing that you're going to need is the Noidum plugin for this to work. So you can go into the marketplace and it's this one right here. It's a neural lifelink. This also is free for you to use and it's compatible with 5.2. So you can use it with the latest iteration of Unreal Engine. Once you got those installed, uh, just open a project, whatever project you want. Um, I'm going to be using 5.2 for this one. Once you have installed those two things, all you have to do is go to plugins uh, here on the settings tab and look for Neuron. I already have it checked. You just check it. It's going to ask you to restart and you're good to go. You, I usually have this tab over here, but if you don't have, this is the lifelink tab. If you don't have the live link tab or, or you can see it, all you have to do is go to Windows, go to Virtual Production and click on Live Link and you're going to get this tab right here. So let me pull it out so you all can see what it is. All right, and it's time to test this out. So let's pick an animation. I like this magical uh, spell cast. So I'm just going to click on it. And you can see a preview of the animation right here. Um, like I said before, we're not going to use the FBX. We're going to download the MBX. So click here. I'm sorry. One of the things that I forgot to say is you do have to make an account. It's just a free account. So just make an account, log in, and you should be able to download the, the mocap. It's just like Mixamo. 
So once you've downloaded this, you need to go and open your Access Studio. Now, once you open Access Studio, you're going to be presented with this little window right here. Um, yours will only have sample project. These are my particular projects. So click on sample project. Now you should see something like this. And in this project, what you need to do is click on import. This is going to open the browser. And you're going to see that I have it here on my downloads folder. I have other several animations that I've downloaded. So I'm just going to click on this one, click on open, and that's going to instantly add it to the list. Once you have this in the list, that is all you have to do in this window. You go to the editing tab, just click on the editing tab. Before we do anything else, we need to set some options uh, so we can make this function. So we, all you have to do is click here, these three lines. And it's going to give you this menu, go to settings. And in the settings menu, you go to BVH broadcasting. Now over here, you're just going to, this one is going to be locked for you, I think. Uh, this, this is the full version that I have on my desktop. But this one down here is the one that you're interested in. Now you will only have access to the Unreal Engine one, which is fine. That actually works. So once you do this, make sure that uh, I have this IP address. It came default with when I installed this. This is my IP address, by the way, just in case. Um, it's just an IP address that it assigns. Also the port, it assigns it automatically and I'll leave it as it is. I have not touched any of these. So all you have to do is click OK and double click to load your animation. Here is our animation. By the way, the way you move in this software is you scroll to zoom in, zoom out. And you click the scroll wheel to hover around. OK, so if we go back and we just scrub the animation, you can see how smooth and how cool it looks. We can actually play it. And there you go. So what we're going to do now is you're going to click this little sign right here. This little sign says repeat. And if you click it, if you click it, this will constantly loop. The reason why I'm doing that is because you need it uh, constantly looping for this to show in Unreal Engine. Now if we go into Unreal Engine and we go to source. We click on access neural life. We uncheck this UDP checkbox. And it doesn't matter that it says uh, 704 here because that's the UDP for. We're not using that. We're using the um, receiving address, which is this one. And as you can see, it's the same as the one we saw in the Access Studio application, which is the IP plus the port. And you can see that it is online. So over here, if you've used Lightlink before, uh, you probably know this, but in case you haven't used Lightlink before, you're going to see here your source with IP and the sta status that says online. And over here, you're going to see the name of your character. And this little dot means that things are working. So the fact that it's in green means that everything is good to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of the mannequins and let's do let's do the UE5 mannequin. We're not going to do the, the UE4 mannequin and we're going to create from the skeleton a animation blueprint. By the way, you only have to do this once uh, what I'm about to do um, and just import as many as animations as you, as you please. So I'm just going to double click on the animation blueprint. And all you have to do is right click, look for live, link pose. And the subject name is the character that popped up over there in the live link window. So I'm going to click on hope. You go here and we're not done yet. Over here, you have to click in the retarget asset this drop down menu and all you have to do is check the one that says UE mannequin. Even if I'm using metahumans, I always use this one. It works fine. So compile and you're going to see that she goes a little bit through the floor. I'm not going to lie. That's one of the issues that I've seen with all their animations. I don't know if it has to do with where the root motion is at. And this way you can just use this animation right out of the box without having to do any other retargeting. Now, there is one thing that I'm noticing, and this usually happens with the metahumans when I do my own motion capture, is that the first post is not looking like the first post of this one because 
if I pause it, now you can pause it while it's uh, linked, you can see where the arms of the character are versus the arm of the mannequin. There is a way to correct for this. We're going to do that just now. I'm going to double click the skeleton, go to characters, bones, all hierarchy. And we're going to create a corrective pose. I believe I've done this in a previous video, but hey, let's let's just do it right now again. So all we have to do is I just go to the places where let's say um, make sure the angle is not to angle is on. Let's do 20 and 20. It's a little bit of guesswork. Create asset, create animation from current pose. Just select where you wanted it to be. I'm going to name it corrective. And once you have that corrective, all you have to do is actually open that blueprint. And let's get that corrective in. Just drop it in there. Connect it. Compile. It's actually not going to do anything right now. You need to close it and open it again. I don't know why. But now you can see that the arms are where it's supposed to be. So if we play the animation. And you can see that it's a much better look. You can see the whole animation. And just doing, you know, something really cool. And now you have some nice animation and she's not even going through the floor anymore so you see how sometimes this corrective pose is really important and like i said the good thing is you don't even have to retarget this that being said we haven't recorded any animation yet we need to use tech recorder i do have a tutorial for that but let let me just make something real quick here now once you add the blueprint you're gonna be you're gonna see that your mannequin stays in just one pose and doesn't continue the animation you need to add the live link component. So live link component skeletal animation, and you can see that it's animating on scene. After that, all you have to do is scroll all the way to start, to the starting pose, uh, give it a name, a tutorial. Make sure you add the source. So over here, source, simple. And again, I do have a tutorials on this if you want to go deeper. I'm just doing it real quick for just demonstration purposes. And I'm going to click the big red button, three, two, one. Just click here. And it's going to start recording. Now, whatever you have the camera, it doesn't matter because it's only recording the animation. So I'm just going to stop it right there. I know the animation didn't finish, but just going to stop it right there. I'm going to browse to where that sequence was recorded and you have your animation right here. And there you go. So that initial setup will be only once. And all you have to do is download animations, add them to Access Studio. And now you don't even have to retarget anything. Any character that you have that is compatible with Mannequin will work with this. And I know what you be asking right now. Does this work with metahumans? So let's give it a shot. I have my metahuman right here and I'm going to go to body. I made a custom blueprint for this metahuman. So, and you should too. So I'm just going to go to blueprint that I have. And there he is animating. I'll call it live link. And there you go. So same with the metahuman, you can do the same animations and you can use these animations with your metahuman. This is exactly the same thing that I did for the mannequin. It's just create a animation blueprint and use the UE mannequin uh, lifelink remap asset. Because again, that, I, I think that's what worked for me. If anyone from Neuron is watching this video and I'm mistaken, please let me know. But that's the one that I've been using. I also added a corrective because this had the same issue as the one with the mannequin. But you can see it works. And you can use these animations with whatever characters you have for Unreal Engine. Plus, you can also use them with the metahumans. Now, the reason why I think this is fantastic is because 
for those people who just want to do an avatar, a talking avatar, and only have the iPhone for live link face, but don't have a motion capture suit, you can actually just download one of the idols. There's several idols in the mocap market. You can download and just pair them with your talking head. And there you go. You'll have a character with uh, actual animations and you can use it as talking head. Or if you need for background characters, this is amazing too. Or even for your hero characters, if some of the animations go with what you're doing with your video game or your short film. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, and thanks to all my patron is right here on screen. Thank you everybody to don that donate to the Patreon. If you can donate, leaving a like and leaving a comment goes a long way for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, let me know how this goes with this. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below. I'm usually there to help you out. If not, there's a Discord. Follow me on Twitter for some more cool updates. I'll see you in the next one.